going on YouTube? Got a little video to make here today. I actually wasn't planning on making a video until I got back from Nationals, which I will be leaving for on Thursday after I get off work. Cannot wait to get there and see everybody hang out and see the biggest freaking card show I've ever seen in my life. So, really pumped about that. Looking forward to it. Like I said, I wasn't going to make a video until I got back from then, but I got this in the mail today. Everybody knows this package, Mr. Packers Corner, Troy. Troy wasn't expecting this. Um, nice surprise in the mailbox today, so whatever you sent, really appreciate it, man. Um, I do have a big stack of cards over here to the side that I'll just go ahead and show off since I'm shooting a video. Um, picked up this lot of cards off of uh, Blowout Forum. Seller needed some PayPal money, and he had all these was able to buy all five of these cards for $13 shipped. So, to me, couldn't beat it. Um, from 2010 Tops Magic, got autograph of Jake Long. From 2009 Playoffs Prestige, we've got a rookie review autograph of Jake Long, numbered, what we got there, 205 out of 250. And from 2009 Score Inscriptions, I grab Jake Long rookie card, numbered 105 out of 499. Then also from 2009 inscriptions, we've got the Gold Zone autograph rookie card of Jake Long, numbered 13 out of 50. And then finally, this card is really cool to me. Um, I actually like this, and this one I may actually keep um, from 2009 uh, SP rookie threads. This is the Multi Marks autograph. Dual autograph numbered 16 out of 299 of Chris Long and Jake Long. Really cool card there. Even cooler now um, that Jake is now a St. Louis Ram, so teammates right there. Anyway, not a bad little lot for 13 bucks. Couldn't pass it up. Um, up next, we've got some baseball from 2012 Allen and Ginter. We got these framed mini autograph of Eric Hosmer. Um, this is the first uh, Allen and Ginter I've, card I've ever owned, um, especially the uh, the mini framed cards. These things are gorgeous. I, I just thought these were really cool, really good quality cards. I wasn't really sure what they looked like in person, but I was able to pick this one up cheap. And right after this one, another one came up. I was like, you know what? This one was cheaper, so they would pick them both up. So really cool cards there. Um, if anybody wants one of them, just let me know. It's for trade. Um, also from Allen and Ginter, this is going to be my little, uh, I don't know, little side PC thing that I'm going to mess around with. Um, picking up just obscure autographs of uh, celebrities and just different pop culture people and autographs from different, uh, maybe not mainstream sports, things like that. And Allen and Ginter uh, does a really, puts together a really cool product and makes these kind of signatures available. Um, but this one, this guy is a complete badass. He's on, they interview him on the radio show here um, a few times a year, and he's always a hell of an interview and awesome on the show. Um, from Deadliest Catch, we have Captain Sig Hansen. And that signature is awesome. I was able to pick this up. He doesn't have very many. I believe he's one of the short prints. Um, or it may not be a short print, but there are not very many of them that have come up for sale. And I was able to get a good deal on this one. So, really happy on that. They do kind of float around inside the frame, so it looks like they're terribly centered or badly cut. But that's just the way the border of it slides around in there. It's just, the cards are actually in very well centered well cut so but that one I thought was really cool really cool card to have in the collection good signature and then another one I've been meaning to get one of those ladies autographs for quite a number of years uh, grew up watching her on ESPN always on there for uh, women's softball and I was able to get a really good deal her signatures aren't terribly expensive but they're not cheap either but this one I got a hell of a deal on. It's from 2008 Sports Legends. 
This is the Champions autograph. Miss Jenny Finch. Really nice full autograph on there. Uh, inscription number 27 in USA. And her sticker sometimes, or her autograph sometimes runs off the sticker, but this one's perfectly on there. Um, I guess this card was a redemption, and the seller never even took it out of the top loader from uh, Donruss. So, but that one's numbered 50 out of 50. That's just a really nice, shiny, good signature card. Another cool one to have in the collection. And now on to the Clay Matthews pickup. We've got from 2012 Bowman, we've got the blue paper parallel, numbered 80 out of 99. And also from 2012 Bowman, we've got the blue refractor version, blue paper refractor, or blue rainbow, I think is what they call it. But uh, that was numbered 94 out of 99, so we've got both the blues, um, pretty much got that rainbow complete for the most part, I believe. Um, I was able to pick this up, got this really cheap, got this for $12. Couldn't believe the seller accepted my first, my initial offer. I was just throwing it out there just to see what they would sell it to me for, and they sold it to me for $12 um, from this year's uh, Father's Day promotion, I believe, I think. Hell, I don't remember. I think so. But anyway, we've got the Football Super Bowl XLV Relic. And it's got some of the ink from the Super Bowl logo on the football, and we've got some holes from the stitching from the laces. So, really cool uh, card there. Twelve bucks, couldn't beat it. I have the pylon version of this. I have this, and I have the pylon autograph. So, nice one to add to the collection. Then one of the few rookie cards of his that I do not have from 2009 Playoff Prestige. Got that draft picks rookie card. Super clean card, numbered 171 out of 399. Then one of my, I, I remember when this set came out and this, uh, I first saw this card, I was like, holy crap, I'm gonna have to buy one of those eventually. But most of them come came out in pretty horrible condition, um, bad edges and corners. But this one was really nice. Got it on the forum. Got hit a really good price um, from 2012. Gridiron gear, we've got the gridiron signature of Clay Matthews in his badass retro Acme Packer uniform. Super cool photo on that one, beautiful autograph. And this card is numbered 11 out of 49. And then, lastly, of the pickups, we've got from 2012 Topps Valor. That's red. And red means only one thing from Valor. That's a one of one. As as far as clay cards go, design wise, picture wise, it doesn't get any damn cooler than that. And that picture just pretty much sums up how this guy plays football. He is a complete badass. Like I said, numbered one of one. So that completes my Valor Rainbow. Happy to get that card right there. I've actually had this card for Hell, it's probably been close to a month. It's just been sitting on my desk, but I haven't been shooting videos because I just wanted to save everything up till after nationals. But anyway, that was the last of my pickups, and now finally, Troy, onto your package right here. Go ahead and cut above this because I will be removing that Donkey Kong sticker for to set aside with uh, the others that I've gotten from you. So, whatever's in here, Troy, thank you very much. Like I said, wasn't expecting anything, so I have no clue what's going on here. You didn't even tell me anything was coming. But, okay, good, there's a note. It's wrapped up really well. Here's what we got. It says, hey, Michael, saw this and knew it had to go to your collection. Thank you for the past cards, and I hope we get to meet up one day. God bless. Go Pack Go Troy, Packers Corner. Absolutely, man. I can't wait to meet you in person. Um, hopefully we'll be able to meet up at uh, one of the trade nights or something. That, that would be really cool. Look forward to meeting you. And always great to meet more Packers fans. So thank you for whatever's in here. Really appreciate it. Oh, hell, that's one card. That looks like a magnetic or a screw down, which 
it's always a little scary. Here's the note. Oh yeah, baby. I love James Jones. I this guy is super super solid. Love watching this guy play. He, he stepped up in big time last year. Made uh, Greg Jennings expendable. Um, that guy's talking like a little bitch right now. Glad his coach came out and told him to shut up. But uh, James Jones and Steve Preston dual autograph superscripts from SPX number 24 out of 50. That is a cool card, Troy. Really like that. I believe Steve Preston plays for the Chiefs, or at least he did last year. Um, but James Jones, that's cool. Really like that card. And now I'm going to slow roll here. That is a nut. What is that? That looks like extra points green. I think that's from the new. What is extra points? Extra points prestige? What do we got here? Oh, hell yes! That is badass, Troy. Number 9 out of 25. I love any of these uh, short printed, any serial number parallels, I love to pick up of Clay. And I haven't picked up anything from the new Prestige. So that is freaking awesome, man. I love that card. That is, and of course, with green on Packers, hell, it doesn't get any better than that. Emerald Extra Points, number 9 out of 25 with the hollow foil background. That is... That is an awesome card, Troy. Thank you very much, man. Awesome. Awesome package here. Really appreciate it. I'm going to try to find you some, uh, try to find some really cool old Packer uh, inserts and stuff to pick up while I'm at National. That's, that's mainly the stuff that I'm going to be looking at is just cool looking cards. I'm not looking to pick up anything big. Um, just want to scour through like the one dollar and five dollar boxes. Just try to find some cool old school inserts, and uh, I'm gonna try to find you some really cool Amon Green stuff, and look for anything that's colored of uh, rookies and stars. So I will be on the look while I'm there in Chicago. So thank you very much, Troy. Really appreciate it. And that will be my final video until I get back from nationals. So you know, probably be. Uh, a week from today, or maybe even a couple days after that, depending on how long it takes me to recover. But, thank you very much, Troy. Really appreciate that. Look forward to meeting you sometime, and to everybody that's going to be going to Nationals, look forward to meeting you. Picked up something that I'm going to have uh, everybody sign. Some people knows what. Uh, some people out there know what I'm bringing, but for those of you that don't, you're in for a surprise. So, thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Later.